One day when the glory comes, it'll be ours. It'll be ours. Oh, one day when the war is won, we will be sure. We will be. hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today we are going to be talking about something a little bit unusual and um, also what i'm used to talking about on my channel but it is a very very important one like i am so excited about what is going on in nigeria at the moment this is just a topic i actually just cannot let go i just had to talk about it I i'm so excited about the fact that nigerians are finally opening their eyes and just accepting the reality and knowing that we need that change we need the change it is so important and i'm just glad that people are finally waking up and at least trying to help the community and trying to help the country itself it's just been going on for so long and we've just tend to ignore and everybody is just ac accepting what would i say our fate and it could be changed it's not really something that we just have to accept and live by it like okay i don't live in nigeria and you can imagine every single time i want to come to nigeria on a holiday or just coming out of my family or whatever it's always that constant thinking of stupid things that shouldn't ever put i mean ever come onto your mind about you wanting to actually go to your country on a holiday so imagine you're coming on to see your family and you, the first thing that's popping into your head is oh my god no electricity can i deal with that i hate the sound of generator i hate the fact that there is no light constant light every every time i hate the fact that there's no security the nigerian airport it's a disgrace to any other airport you've ever seen in this life like i live in the uk and you've seen even like the local airport i'm not even talking international i'm talking about the local airport around the country they are five thousand percent better than nigerian airport and that's disgraceful so now that we're actually trying all our best to fight for the first thing in mind that came into mind obviously we all know that that's not going to stop there it's definitely going to be more and constantly asking for more now and um, to what i've read or to what i've watched online you can see that nigerian government are trying so hard not to would i say not to accept what's going on and not to be really make any difference because they know one once they accept this first one that's it we're gonna keep coming back for more we're gonna keep coming back for more and that's the energy we need to keep on regardless of how they feel or what they think we still need to keep that energy i wish i was an angel right now because i would have loved so much to be involved in this protesting and stuff like that it, it, it's amazing like i've heard about it for years and years when people are talking about things like oh um, I think it was the I think it was Ghana that, at that time, and I heard that they they kind of lock up all the all the elders in the country and blah 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 just to kind of like fix the country up and stuff like that. And I used to always say, why can't they not do that to the Nigerian elder ones? Like why can't they not? Like, I don't understand how Nigerians will think a seventy-seven year old man could actually rule the country. What would he be doing? So it was just that case of having those like really really horrible elderly people in the country that just believe they can rule the country the way they want the use to the whole corruption bribery sharing all the money within themselves and hiding it somewhere keeping it for the generation to generation that are not even yet born and suffering the people that are already living in the country it is disgraceful it's disgraceful and unacceptable i'm not even gonna lie there was a day that i was talking about i just woke up one morning and i was like that's it i want to move to nigeria i want to move back i'm tired of living in this country nearly 20 years and I just don't like it anymore. I just want to move back to my country. I want to feel like I'm I'm staying in a country where I'm wanted. Of course, where I I don't look at people. People don't look at me in a really funny way, walking past them and all of that. And 
the first thing, even though I'm so excited and I was planning and my partner was like, mm, you've been here for nearly all your, all your life. You'd probably like just saying that because you just feel like you're tired of this country. You probably cannot live in Nigeria. And I kept telling him, no, I don't care. I really actually do want to go to Nigeria, blah, blah, blah. I think it's going to be fun. I, I want to do this. And he's like, you can't compare you going on holiday for two weeks to you wanting to go and live in a certain country. And obviously we had his argument back and forth and he started planning with me that, right, okay, if you want to go, you can go give it a try and me as a person even though i wanted to go to Nigeria so bad the second thought that was popping into my head the first thing was electricity i was literally like how am i going to cope without 24 hours electricity and i'm gonna have to deal with turning on generator and having all these what do they call it is it inverter and stuff like that around the house i hate the noise of generator and all of that and then coming into my head i've got two children so imagine me having to go to control my kids what if anything happened to them um i'm talking about like medical wise does that mean i always have to then travel back to the uk every single time to get them treated and all of that or i would have to keep spending tons of money, money on like private hospitals and stuff like that which i'm not even guaranteed they're gonna do a good job so you can imagine um these oil so that was going back and forth in my mind and those are those were the main thing that were pulling me off and i'm like mm, are you sure you really want to do this like i read something online the other day i think it was on, on instagram and this lady said we don't we we people that live around this part of the world we're not living here because it's going to make us a millionaire or billionaire is going to make us rich because it doesn't the only thing is just the fact that you get to live in a country that you know that the system actually works so in your case you already know all i have to do is get a job and once i'm working i can obviously i know there is a salary constantly coming into my account every month and other than that you living in the uk basically uk gives you the money and collect all the money back you will be like so lucky to be able to save any any amount of money every single month like there is no savings all the money that's been given to you gets spent straight back into the economy so you can imagine but if you were in nigeria and you, let's say you were like a, a business oriented person and you decide to own a business you know that way you can constantly actually yeah let me do something nice to my country let me go and set up a business in nigeria it's also really hard to set up a business in the uk in case you guys don't know so it, it's just it's really sad like i would love to move back to nigeria the weather makes me want to move back to nigeria the people that i know i'm gonna see these people they are the same skin color as me and they're gonna love me want to make me move back to my country but there are just those tiny little bit of things that just change your mind constantly and be like no i don't think i can do it and obviously the rich people are leaving fine because they don't have to worry about all of this um but how about middle class people how about people that are not rich enough like if i have let's say ten thousand pounds sitting in my account I, I know i'll survive in this country and nobody will know if i'm rich or not but convert that back to naira i'm talking about like five million naira. can you be a rich person in nigeria with five million naira? it's not possible it just doesn't work that way so you can imagine all like all the thinking and all the things that you have to constantly go through just because you've got bad bad elder i mean could i say bad 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 politician people that all they constantly want to do is just steal all the money in the country the, the, like the road is so bad everything about nigeria is bad and it's a really fun country and a lot of us want to move back home but there are just those tiny little bit of things that is make changing people's mind so i'm just going to urge all of you guys to please do not stop keep going keep going they are doing protests in every part of the world as well there is one here in manchester um i think it's over the weekend and everybody is supporting in every little way that they can so i would just say we need to keep going we want our country back so we need to make sure that we're pulling all the work in to make sure we can change these people's mind so they can be better leaders and if they're not going to do the job we can flop them off like literally throw them out the window and that's what it's going to end up being like i was talking about a few months ago when they were talking about the whole um black life matter case and all of that and i i said to myself i said there is not going to be change it's not happening this these people this is their country they've they've literally structured things to be in a certain way and if we are not happy with it they're literally telling us if you're not happy with the way we're doing things 
you go back to your country but we have no country to go back to because our leaders are like the worst people in the world and all they want to do is just steal all the money and keep it all to themselves and let everybody just rock to death like i want to come back to nigeria and make sure i can make changes or uh, like all the little bit of things that i've learned in the past few years i want to bring it back to make changes into nigeria but if i cannot leave in a good way or i cannot leave that me knowing that okay right i can leave i can leave in a country that i know i'm i feel safe i know i'm safe there is nothing stressing me there's nothing disturbing me that gives you that peace of mind so if we have to keep doing this for years and years until they listen then we're gonna keep doing it and i'm i'm, I'm so proud of you all guys i'm proud of every single one that have been out to actually try and end all this rubbish that they're doing like why are you killing people i don't understand are you guys not do you not actually think that these people's family actually do you think about them and they worry about the fact that oh this person is just gone you don't shoot people just because they refuse to give you 10,000 euro or 1,000 euro. That is just ridiculous. So all these need to change. We need to do better. We need to show them this new generation. We're not going to accept all the stuff that all our forefathers or even just our parents have accepted. We're not going to accept any of it. And we are ready to do this as long as we can. So we see changes until we see that things are getting better. So keep going, guys. I'm proud of everyone and I'm so happy. Like one thing I was watching about, um, I think it was Oye Mike that put it up on Instagram as well, saying things about raising funds to maybe find, make sure we get someone good that we can put. The only reason why these people are actually making it up to all this ladder, it is because they already have money. So they've literally turned Nigeria into a business. Oh, I have two billion naira. Why don't I just try to get a, a presidential whatever and just spend five, maybe spend 500 million and spread it out to the all to everyone and let them vote. And when I win, I get to make way more money back. So that's what they've turned into. They've turned Nigeria into business, basically. Put in a little bit of money and we're going to get this amount back. That's what they're doing all the single time. In all that need to stop now. We want changes now like i am so happy everyone is doing this i uh, i will keep supporting as much as i can and i do want to be able to come back home and live like a human being and stop all these oh we just come for two weeks and run back there is nothing in this country i hate the cold you can imagine it's already back into winter and i'm like no i cannot do this i hate this weather i hate this i hate that so things need to change and we need to do better Keep going, guys. I am really, really, really super happy. I just had to make this video. I'm so excited about what's going on in Nigeria right now. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Bye. The whole world is looking at us. Yes. 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 We go yes. succeed yes. this one where we did so. Yes. Yes. When we go succeed this one where we did so. Okay. Yes. All of us go come get one same spirit. Hundred. If Nigeria know better, uh -huh. we know they move.